Okay, guys, so check this out. Um, everything that I do from here on out is absolutely free to everybody, okay? So um, for those of you who don't know me, um, I'm Ricky Carruth. I'm a real estate agent at Remax of Orange Beach, Alabama. I've been in real estate since 2002. Um, I made a million dollars by the time I was 23. I lost it all in the crash. I was bankrupt by 25 and had to go back to roofing houses and working on an oil rig. Um, I learned everything during that time. That was the best time in my life. Um, I learned everything about what this business is all about, what life is all about. And I was able to put the pieces back together and figure out what I did wrong and make a comeback and make a really huge comeback. So what I learned through the crash was that it's all about relationships. You can't go after deals. And that's why I'm doing my coaching free now because I've been running my coaching business um, about the deals, right? It's all been about deals and trying to get agents to pay me. And now I'm going to flip that. Now I'm going to run my coaching business the way I'm coaching you guys to run your real estate business, which is to go after the relationship long term. Um, and that's that's just where it's at. That That's where it's at. That's where you succeed big time. That's why I'm going to do everything for free from here on out. Another thing is, is when I'm speaking, when I'm doing things publicly, um, so on and so forth, I have to hold back. I have to hold back what I'm saying because I want there to be a reason for you to pay me. Right. I want I want to hold back my phone scripts. I want to hold I want to hold back the way I follow up with people. I want to hold back, um, you know, how I convert. I want to hold back um, how I read people and what my process is and and how I get to where I'm at, because I want there to be a reason that you pay me. Right. So but not anymore. That is over with. Right. And here's really the numbers. Right. For me, here's the numbers. If I have uh, if I do a webinar and I have 300 people sign up, I have 100 people show up, and I sign up one person, right? So I have 99 people that went to that webinar that says to themselves, I knew it, I knew he was going to try to charge me, um, you know, the webinar was great, but I'm not going to pay, I'm going to move on, so on and so forth. I don't need to lose 99 agents. I need to gain 100 agents in that scenario and help them long term. I want to help them forever. And I mean, it's real. Like, I really want to help you guys by sharing everything that I know. And then you can take what I know, mix it with what you do, and go out there and crush it. That's the goal. So I'm opening up my entire coaching program for absolutely free forever. You get my phone scripts. You get my videos. You get my past coaching calls. You get videos of me making calls. You get action plans, 90-day action plans. You get... Uh, you get for a second. There we go. So you get you get my exact phone script for how I approach sellers in a way that is not high pressure. Everything about my the way that I do real estate is super low pressure. Um, I'm not going after the deal. I want the relationship long term. People are going to buy and sell real estate. Closings are happening every single day. So if closings are happening every day, then why do we have to force the issue? Why do we have to be high pressure, right? If we make it our job to make people feel comfortable with us, right, comfortable with us, trust us, make people like us, the number one reason why people choose real estate agent is because they like you. Right, and you make them feel comfortable. So, um, I feel like that that's what I want to do with the coaching business, and so everything's free. So, um, all you have to do is go to zero to diamond.com, click on the free thing, you get all my phone scripts, all my videos, and everything for nothing. And I'm going to continue to put content out, I'm going to continue to push to put content out. All I want from you guys is for you to succeed in a big, big way. So let me go over, I'm a very humble guy. I, uh, you know, I don't really like um, talking about my numbers and stuff uh, too much because I just feel like it's bragging. But I do want to just tell you guys a little bit about my numbers if you haven't heard of me or this is your first time watching me. Um, last year, I'm a single agent. Last year I did 130 deals, $42 million worth of sales. 
I did $1.1 million in commissions. I was the number one remix agent in the state of Alabama. The year before, I did $750,000. I did about 105 deals. Okay, so since 2014, I have closed over 100 deals every single year as a single agent. Um, and I've been in this business since 2002. Like I said, um, a lot. a question um, 2002 crash lost everything learned my lessons came back with a vengeance and now I'm on top and so what I learned through the crash was is that transactions are actually there's a higher amount of transactions per agent during a crash because so many agents leave the business you just have to change your mindset around to the fact that buyers want to buy right now when the market crashes before the prices come back up and sellers got to sell right now because they're in trouble because the market's crashing. So there's a couple of key points I want you to know. Number one, business is unlimited. There's no shortage of business. Um, that's why I'm not scared about giving my coaching program away for free. There's agents in my market who are going to be joining this program and implementing what I'm talking about, and it's absolutely not going to affect my, my income whatsoever. Might they pick up a client or two of mine? Sure, but that's going to happen anyway. I mean, agents are out there. People are changing agents all the time. So what is the problem with that? What's the big deal there? Because they picked up a client from what I taught them. They picked up one of my clients from what I taught them. So what? I'm going to take that time I would have spent with that client and go get five more deals. So, you know, business is unlimited. Real estate is a win-win. There's no losses in real estate. When you lose, when you lose a deal, lose a listing, that's great because you almost got a deal. You learned a lesson. You learned why it didn't work out. Now you can take that new knowledge and go get five more deals with that extra time you have on your hands because you don't have to deal with that deal anymore. When you lose a client or you talk to a client who hung up on you or you talk to a client for a while and then they decided to go to another realtor, that's a good thing. That means you don't have to spend any more time with that person. Time is the most valuable thing that we have. It's more valuable than money. We can replace money, we can't replace time. So when you lose a deal, you're getting future time back that you can now spend on other things that maybe even be more productive than what you were working on if you get after it, if you continue pushing harder and harder and harder. But if you sit around and feel sorry for yourself because you lost that deal, you're going to lose. You're going to lose big time, right? So um, I think that developing long-term relationships with people, hey, whenever I call people, I'm not calling them to say, hey, do you want to buy or sell? I'm calling them to say, hey, I don't want to take up too much of your time today, but a house down the road sold, and I didn't know if there's anything I could do for you today, right? Um, you guys go to my website, if you haven't, zerodiamond.com, and download the phone scripts and watch the videos of me making phone calls, live cold calls, and watch my demeanor, watch how I read people, watch how I do it, and go out there and do it yourself. Um, you know, I'm going to start um, putting all kinds of more content on the website, um, but there's a ton of stuff there. Weekly email. The way that I keep up with all of my clients is a weekly email every single week on the same day forever. Since 2007, I've sent out a weekly email every single Wednesday since 2007, 11 years, this email has went out every single Wednesday, and it is the key. It is the absolute foundation of the reason I'm where I'm at. I've made over 100,000 phone calls in my career, and I've picked up over 10,000 email addresses of people who get this weekly email, and now I don't have to make phone calls anymore. I can't make phone calls anymore because I have so much business happening uh, because of that. So far to date, I've closed over $10 million. Right now is March 9th. I'm $10 million and a quarter million dollars in commissions so far this year. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 properties under contract. I'm working on number 13 right now. Um, so, and the market hasn't even really started heating up for spring. So I'm just telling you guys this because, like I said, I'm not bragging. I don't care about myself. I just want you guys to understand that I have credibility in what I'm saying and that, that okay, let me say something else. I, I canceled. I canceled eight, uh, 118 automatic payments that were ongoing from coaching students yesterday. I canceled 118 automatic payments that were coming in to me 
Some were paying 20, some were paying uh, 50, some were paying 100, some were paying 150 a month. I canceled them all because from now on, everything I do is free. I don't have to hold back anymore. I can tell you guys everything because I'm not looking for you to pay me anything, right? I, there's no reason for me to hold back. I can answer any question any way I want. I can tell you anything I want to tell you without worrying about, oh, did I tell him too much that he's not going to want to pay me, right? That payment business model in coaching doesn't work for me, right? Because here's the thing, guys. I want to be the number one uh, highest demanded real estate speaker in the world. And I predict in two years I'll be the highest demanded real estate speaker in the world in two years because I'm going to give you so much value and I'm going to tell you exactly how I feel about every little thing and give you every little thing I can give you to go out there and succeed that you're going to love me, right? I believe that the coaches that are out there who, who you have to pay for, I don't think that there is a whole lot of love. I don't think that a lot of people love, you know, they like them, but they don't love, you know, those guys. Um, and so I, I feel like I want to crush all of the paid coaches out there by being a coach who is not paid, who brings even more value than the coaches who get paid, right? I'm going to bring more value to you than coaches that get paid, right? So last night I have 200 paying members, 200 paying members that I told last night that this is what I was going to do. Right. I told them that this is what I was going to do. I got together with them as a group um, and not a single one of them asked for any money back. Why? Because I give them so much value. They don't care. They just want me to do what I think I need to do to help thousands and thousands of agents. Right. I have 200 agents. After one year, I have 200 agents paying agents. Right. I could have thousands and thousands and thousands of agents if I were not charging. Right. And that's what I want to do. I actually want to make a difference in terms of reducing the failure rate in the real estate industry. And this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to spread every little piece of knowledge that I have to each and every one of you, whoever wants it. It's right there for you. Go to zero to diamond .com and sign up for free and start watching all the videos and see if you don't become inspired. See if you don't start doing deals off the stuff that I'm teaching you through that website. Through the 200 agents that were members, there the, a lot of them are that are implementing what I teach are crushing it, and they'll comment on here. I mean, you know, I don't know if any of those guys are watching, but they'll comment on here that everything that I have there is legit. Everything out there is better than anything else that they've seen out there by people that are actually charging a whole lot of money. And I feel like the way I do business is unique. I feel like it's different and I feel like it's really going to make a difference and you can take pieces of what I do, mix it with what you do and go crush it. You can take exactly how I do it and go crush it however you want to do it. It doesn't matter to me because you're not paying me anymore. I just want you to be happy. I want you to crush it. I want you to, you know, if you're happy making a hundred thousand a year, then I want you to be happy making a hundred thousand a year. If you want to make a million dollars a year, I want you to follow my program exactly and go make a million dollars a year. Is it going to happen overnight? No, it's never going to happen overnight. It took me six years. It took me six years to, to, to learn that it was about relationships and not deals, right? It took me six years to figure out that it was about relationships and not deals. And another, after I learned it, another six years of implementing the right way of doing business to get where I wanted to be, which was a hundred deals a year. It actually took me 10 years after I learned that it was about relationships, not deals, before I hit a million dollars in a year, which was last year. That was the first year that I made a million dollars, over a million dollars as a single agent last year. Um, so, um, you know, you guys, you guys give me some questions. You know, I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know that I'm super stoked. I'm super excited to be able to share with you guys freely, publicly. Because I've been getting very passionate in the private group with the private coaching sessions because those guys are paying me and I feel like I can say whatever. See, but now I can be that way with you guys. See, and that excites me. That excites me big time. My speeches are going to be more powerful. They're going to have more energy. They're going to be more impactful. And it's just going to be all around a better deal for you and me, right? I'm going to enjoy it more. Um, I mean, 
doing the paid business model, I'm still losing money. If I'm going to lose money, I'd rather be doing it doing something I love to do, if you understand what I'm saying. And in the end, I believe I'll win even bigger, right? So for those of you watching, I'm uh, uh, April 4th. For those of you who know what, who Gary V is, I'm going to have a meeting with him um, April 4th. Uh, and I'm going to have a meeting with his team afterwards for like nine hours just to discuss my coaching business and building my personal brand to actually blow up to become the number one real estate demanded speaker in the world in the next two years. I also, I'm going to have Gary Vee on the Zero to Diamond podcast and I'm going to do everything I can to, to win the interview to speak at the next Agent 2021. I'm super excited about the opportunity. So Rick wants to know, he'd like to know more about the coaching. Just go to zero2diamond.com, zero2diamond.com, and just sign up. It's absolutely free. All my phone scripts are there. All the videos of me making calls, video tutorials, how to do it, how to use Red X, how to use Mojo, how to make a Facebook audience, how to do every single little thing is all integrated into the website for you guys to go listen to it and crush it and go do it. Everything that I do, is right there. Here's what I do. I circle, like my bread and butter, okay, here, here's the bottom line. <clears throat> Everything works. Everything works in real estate, period. Everything works. Um, nothing doesn't work. You have to figure out what works best for you and go crush that. But what's works best for me, um, what's worked best for me is circle prospecting, okay? And I'm not pushing that off on you. I want you to do, see, see for me, it's not that circle prospecting. I want you to circle prospecting. What I really want you to get out of my coaching is my mindset. My mindset that there's no losses in real estate and that real estate is unlimited and it's all about how much you can handle. It's all about keeping your cup full and it's all about just getting after it, right? And just working hard and staying busy. That's what it's all about, figuring out what works, adapting and, and all that good stuff. But my system is circle prospecting in, in the terms of, I'm going to call them and say, hey, this is Ricky Carruth. How are you doing today? Good, good. Well, look, I, um, I'm enjoying the day. Isn't it gorgeous outside? Yeah, yeah. Listen, I don't want to take up too much of your time today, but a house down the road just sold, and I didn't know if there's anything I could do to help you. Right? That's my whole line. Right? I'm going to do a little small talk. I'm going to read them through the small talk, and then when I ask them if there's anything I can, that I can do for them today, and they tell me no, that's my opening. That's my opening to say, I got you. Well, look, is there an agent in the area that you would work with if you were to do something? No? Okay, well, look, I'm sure at some point you're going to want to buy or sell something, and I would love the opportunity to work with you when that day comes. Would it be okay if I stayed in touch with you? Okay, cool. What's your email address? Boom, right? You build your database full of people that you didn't pressure, that like you, that start to know you through your email, that send out every single Wednesday on the – it doesn't matter what day of the week it is. Pick a day, send the email every single week, and that email is going to build a relationship for you without you having to call them back all the time. Because when they get that email every single week on the same day, they're going to see how consistent, dependable, hardworking, professional, knowledgeable you are. It's going to build the relationship for you with massive amounts of people while you can continue going after new people. Right, And you're going to run into all kinds of people that want to do a deal right now. I mean, you're in real estate. You're going to run into people that want to do deals. So you do the deals, and you build your business. You build your business. You do the deals. So that's how I do it. That's how I've done it. And now that I've made over 100,000 calls in my career, I have over 10,000 emails that get this weekly email. Now people just call me, and I just, I'm just my, – my work – I'm so busy – like this is this is the deal. These are the deals I'm working on right now, right? These are all the deals that I'm working on, like buyers and sellers that haven't fully committed that I'm working with to either show property or try to list it or whatever I'm trying to do with them, right? And this list grows. I'll mark one off, and then I'll get an I'll, I'll list it or I'll sell them or I'll get them under contract. But then more people come in, more people are calling me and coming in. You know what I mean? So, um. You know, go to zerodiamond.com, get the phone scripts, watch the videos of me making calls, right? It's easy. It, 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 real estate is really as simple as when you're not busy, make phone calls. And when you are busy, take care of the deals. When, you get, when you're not busy anymore, make more phone calls, right? 
And when you when you do this, you know, to take it a step further, I love all the other avenues. Like I'm really into social media right now, and I, I haven't even used social media to try to convert real estate people. See, I built my business so big without social media, and then when I started using social media, now I'm just using it to brand myself even further with the clients I already have. So I haven't had to use social media as a lead generating tool, <clears throat> you know, so I haven't even went down that path. I know a little bit about it, not much, but I haven't needed it because my business is so big, you know, I can just boost posts and run ads to a custom audience, AKA my, my already current clients and people that I've gotten emails from. And I'm just continuing to build my brand through just showing them listings, showing them nice places to eat, showing them events in the area, showing them I just sold something, and so on and so forth. I love that part of it because social media so works. Like it's like, I mean, I'm talking to you guys on social media. I met all of you on social media. Um, it's just the way of the world now and it's so cool. Um, so if you can use that to your advantage and start really trying to go through the, go through the process of learning um, uh, about it, and you're not going to learn everything just right now. You know, you have to actually do, you have to, you have to learn from experience. You have to learn from trial and error. Right, you're not gonna do a Facebook ad and everything work perfectly that first time. You have to try and try and try again. Try, fail, try, fail, try, fail, try, fail, succeed. You know, that's the path. And that's what I'm doing with coaching, guys. I've been coaching for a year now. I looked on here and I started this group uh, January 20th. So I've been, it's been about 14 months. And, um, you know, uh, the, 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 I've learned a lot. I've tried a lot of things. You know, I've tried 49 a month. I or I tried 150 a month. I've tried 49 a month. I tried, you know, uh, like uh, 400 and then this. I tried a thousand one time fee. You know, I tried webinars. I tried a lot of things. And, and here's the thing even if I do a great webinar and I do sell some, I'm still losing a lot of people because they put me in this classification as another real estate coach who just wants to get paid. And it's just not my style. And so I woke up about three months ago and I came to the realization that I'm not running my coaching business the way that I'm coaching my real estate agents to run their real estate business. You know, I teach you guys to go after the, 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 the relationship, not the deal. But in my coaching business, I'm going after the deal. And I took a long, hard look in the mirror and I said, this isn't right. Like, I just don't feel right about this. <clears throat> you know, I'm losing 99% of people. And so I made the decision to, to switch to completely free. And, you know, maybe I get a lot of people who get in there for free and they don't value it as much because now it's free and everything else. But I mark my words, whenever people go in there, and they start listening to the coaching calls and the videos, they're going to be hooked. They're going to get excited and they're going to start implementing what I'm saying and they're going to start succeeding off of what I'm talking about. So that's it, man. Y'all give me some questions. Um, I'm going to scroll through the comments here and see if anybody has any, any questions right quick. Um, type in any questions you got. And just know that I'm here and that I want you guys to succeed and I love you guys very much. Like that's the thing. I have so much love for you that I, that this is what I'm willing to do. I'm willing to sacrifice my time and money for nothing to help you succeed, <clears throat> right? And yes, I'm going to make it on the back end through speaking engagements, books, this, that, whatever, right? But that's down the road. That's down the road. That's not right now, right? But the thing is, is I'm not hurting for money and I would rather help thousands of people instead of hundreds of people. And that's just how I roll. <clears throat> that's how I want it. That's how I want it to go down. OK, so this person says, um, do you recommend to buy leads from Boomtown or Market Leader? I, I, it depends on if you're a single agent. If you're a single agent, don't buy any leads. Right. If, if you're a single agent, don't buy any leads. But if you're a team leader, buy leads and give them to your team, your, your, your teammates, you know, people that are on your team. Uh, let's see. I've got some people thanking me for the free coaching, of course. And, and trust me, guys, I, I so appreciate you guys' just willingness and the fact that you guys are interested. 
you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm humbled by you guys giving me so, you guys, you guys are the reason why I'm still here. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing this anymore. I would just have quit selling. I would quit coaching and I would just stick to real estate. You know, um, that's the bottom line. So, <clears throat> Um, let's see. Miss Rutger says, how do you feel about hiring a showing agent? I think it's, a, I think it's fine if you want to hire a showing agent. You know, I mean, it, 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 it's all about you. Try it and see how it goes. I mean, that's what I say about a lot of things. Just try it and see how it goes. If you feel like, man, because one, because if you don't do it, you're going to wonder if you ever, if you ever did it, what would happen if you don't do it? You'll second guess yourself. Do it. You know, do it. If you're ever wondering to yourself, hey, should I do this? Should I do that? The answer is yes. Just do it. And then you'll know, right? You haven't lost anything. <clears throat> There's no losses in real estate. There's no losses in business because when you make a mistake, that's a lesson learned. All right, Lucia wants to know what's in my weekly email. My weekly email has a picture, maybe some events or article, featured properties, new listings, closed sales, a webcam, uh, you know, whatever. Um, you guys can go to my website at rickycaruthrealestate.com and sign up for my newsletter that I send to my clients, and you can start getting it. Caesar says, hi, do I have a listing presentation, or, or don't you need it because you're already built? Yeah, I don't have a listing presentation because I'm not doing it for sale by owners and expireds. I feel like for sale by owners and expireds might want a listing presentation, but... I'm building relationships, and when I go there, the deal is already done. The reason why I don't like um, for sale by owners and expireds is because, um, like, when you do it, you're really up against probably a couple other agents. But when you do it circle prospecting, it, it, you're up against nobody, right? It's it's There's way less competition and way more openness to begin this journey of a relationship to do tons of business through repeat business and referrals, right? So. Sandra says, I'd like to download your scripts on your website. Is it available? Yes. All my, all my phone scripts and everything are available uh, on zero2diamond.com. Go there. It says free coaching. Go there. Sign up. It's all free. You get everything. Let's see. Sometimes when out of town, I need an agent's help to show property while I'm away. What do you feel is proper compensation for that agent who takes my buyer out? I would say you get 25%. Or maybe you can negotiate 50%, but they're doing the work. You're referring it to them. So now you get a referral fee because you referred it to them. So I would say 25% is the standard, but if you wanna if you wanna if you wanna do 50%, then do 50%. Let's see. Joshua Brown, what is up, my brother? He says, I respect you as a fellow agent because of what you contributed to us as a mentor and coach because I know your genuine no bullshit attitude and positive mindset advice is the best thing you can give. Thanks, Ricky. Much appreciated, brother. Absolutely, Josh. Um, go crush it, guys. You know, I mean, that that's that's just what's up. Okay, Blake says, what's the best plan to find phone numbers for calling property owners? Red X. Red X, Geo Leads. That's it, man. Red X, Geo Leads. Boom, that's it. Yes, there's going to be some bad numbers in there. There's always going to be bad numbers for some numbers you find on the Internet, but they're better than any other source I've found. So use the triple dialer. Triple dialer will cut straight through all the bad numbers and get right to all the good numbers. And you just sit there and just talk to people. All right, let's see. Colin, what's up? Let's we'll see. Natasha made $900 this week. We'll continue tomorrow to 100 a thousand call challenge. Ricky, if an agent wants to close 12 transactions, how many phone calls should they be making? 12 transactions, what, in a year? I mean, if you make if you make 10 calls a day, you'll probably close 12 transactions or more per year, right? Also, guys, um, I don't know if you guys are into making phone calls, okay, but I have what's called the Ricky Carew thousand call challenge, and the thousand call challenge is, is, is part of the program. Go there. There's a video testimonial that teaches you how to get the numbers, what to say, how to do it, and how to how to crush it. Suzanne says, if I want to do 20 deals, how many people do I need to contact minimum per day? 20 deals, contact 10 to 20 people a day. Uh, Robin says, does Red X work in Canada? You know, I've had Canadian people, I've, we talked about this, the Canada Red X thing. I need to call Red X and kind of ask them what the deal is with Canada. But look, Robin, take my phone scripts, right? 
use the exact same relationship building phone scripts and go door knock in Canada and say the same exact thing you would say on the phone that I say on the phone, say it at the door and watch what happens. Magic happens. Matt Baker says, my question this morning when I saw your email was, did Ricky get drunk and bump his head? Ha ha. Yeah, pretty much. No, actually, I just want to genuinely help people. So now it's just no holding back. I give everything to you guys. I, will, I want nothing in return except for, for you to succeed. Suzanne says, do I use a dialer? Yes, I use a dialer. All right, I'm going to go back up and see if I can find any more questions. What do, okay, Renee wants to know, Ricky, what do we need to do to get you to come speak in Dallas? Just give me, give me a, a gig in, Gal in Dallas. Let me, put me in front of whoever the, uh, I see some, I see some people on Instagram saying they've signed up last night and stuff. Congratulations, guys. And people bought my book and stuff. Thank you. Uh, the Red X fee. With, let, guys, listen, as a part of uh, being a part of Zero to Diamond, you get a $200 discount on Red X. The, the $200 startup fee is waived as a Zero to Diamond member, okay? So be sure you're calling Red X and getting that discount whenever you sign up for Red X. Renee, let me talk to the board in Dallas. Put me in contact with whoever I need to talk to so I can send them a link to my speeches and my content so that they can go ahead and book me for, for the next event in Dallas. I would love to come and speak to you guys. Let's see. People are telling me, okay, Pettigay says that she must agree that my program uh, how it teaches how to build sustainable business while focusing on relationships and implementing my system will get you where you want to be as long as you're willing to work. I like that. You have to be willing to work. Let's see. Rick Carlson wants to know more about the coaching. Go to zero2diamond.com and it's all there. It's all free. Let's see. Andrew says, I have no doubt you will be a le the leading real estate coach in the next couple of years. I would never bet against you ever. I like that. Luca, Lu Lucia says, how do I get the leads? Red X. Go to Red X, Geo Leads. It's 50 bucks a month. That You can find 2,000 numbers per month. Go there, put an address in, find all the owners around that address, and start calling away. Use my phone scripts. Watch the videos of me making calls and implement what I'm teaching you for free. I'm gonna bring you guys more value than any coach that, that you pay. Nobody, no coach can bring you more value than me, and on top of that, I'm free. Let's see. A lot of people saying, what's up? Much love to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nicholas said I needed this. Yeah, yeah, go sign up, guys. David says, Ricky, thanks for all you do. We are, uh, are you planning on writing a new book? Your Zero to Diamond book is the truth. David, listen, Zero to Diamond is good, but you should read my second book, List to Last. That is a beast. The second book is a beast. You really need to check that out. Just go to ZeroToDiamond.com, Ricky's books, and it's right there. Um. Natasha says, if any of you think what uh, that what Ricky says doesn't work, I'm getting a new listing next week from Circle Prospecting using my system. Guys, there's a lot of agents that have bought into my system uh, that are the same thing I've given away for free that are out there crushing it. They're out there crushing it and building big business. See, you build your business, you develop the relationships through the emails, Right, that's your long-term business, but then you run into all kinds of people that want to do deals today while you're building your long-term business. You build your long-term business and your short-term business at the same time. How do you think I got where I'm at? Efficiency, being efficient. You can't be a top producer. You can't be a million-dollar producer if you're not efficient. You have to become most efficient. You have to learn what works and what doesn't work. Adapt and find out what's most efficient for you. Dave on Instagram wants to know if my books are on audio. Zero to Diamond is on Audible. 
Um, I'm actually going to do. I'm actually doing the the audio for List to Last. So I've done the first chapter. So that's going to take me a little while to get that done, but it's coming. Let's see. In general, compare your program to using Commissions Inc. Franklin Bellamy. I don't know anything about Commissions Commissions Inc. So, but mine's free, and I guarantee you you'll get more value out of it than anything you pay for. Steven says, is 2,000 numbers per month enough? Not really. As a new agent, you should be calling way more than that, but you call 2,000 and tell me. Go ahead and do the 2,000, you know, and uh, do the Ricky Crew 1,000 call challenge. Make it a 2,000 call challenge. Go through them, and then you tell me. Tell me what, how much business you get off that 2,000. Tell me if you can handle more, right? I don't know because it's per person. How much can you handle at one time? You see what I'm saying? So. So you need to go do it and do the 2,000 and, and find out for yourself and get back to me and let me know. Post in the group. Here's another thing, guys. I want you all to do that's signing up for the program. I want you every day to post your call results in the group. I want to know how many calls you made, how many people you talked to, how many emails, how many bad numbers, how many email addresses you got. Every day I want you to post your call results in the group. That's how we're going to hold each other accountable. That's how we're going to hold each other accountable that we're making the calls. Let's see. Blake says in the past in the past few ye weeks I've really gotten busy. I have 500 contract most ever at the time for me. Do you have a spreadsheet of what to do per transaction so you don't lose track of any details of multiple deals? No, I don't really. I kind of shoot from the hip, man. If I get too organized, then I'll then I won't sell as much. I think organization is a killer of productivity to a certain extent. I'm very unorganized. I sell a lot of property. Um, like here's 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 like what I have going on today. Like this is the stuff I'm working on, buyers and sellers. <clears throat> here's a deal I'm negotiating. You know, here's a few things I need to remember, some errands and stuff. No, I make a list every day. I look at my under contract board and I see what I got going on, and then I just do whatever I can do. What's up, Jamie Cruz? Matt Baker's ready to go to the next level. Ruben says, are your books on Google Books? My books are on Kindle and Amazon. Diana says, Ricky's program is simple and not complicated at all. I have both of Ricky's books, and he lays out his systems. I love the fact that there's no competition with Circle Prospecting. Thank you, Ricky. I never knew there was a, a life with Circle Prospecting at all. Um, you're a one-of-a-kind coach. It's all about relationships, which is something that isn't taught. Exactly. I'm going to teach you guys stuff that's not even taught. Low pressure, not high pressure. Don't handle objections. Go for the relationship. See what you can do to help them long term. Why are they buying? Why are they selling? Right? It's not about the fact that they're trying to sell or it's not about you trying to get them to sign the contract. That's just doesn't work and that's why I'm giving my coaching program away for free now because trying to force people to pay you is a bad business model that doesn't work anymore. Look at Google. Google, it's free. You search, it's free, right? But they're making billions. Um, Facebook is free. This live video I'm doing is for is free. They make billions, right? Think about it for a second. A question on uh, Instagram. I struggle today with calling farm leads. How many calls typically get one interested in keeping in touch? Oh, I only call people one time, guys, and that's it. I call them once, I get their email, I put them on the weekly email, and then they call me when they get ready to do something. I don't call them a time and time and time again. I let them decide when they want to buy or sell and contact me when they get ready. It's as simple as that. What would you recommend for – what would you recommend? Geo leads? Oh, for, oh, yeah, I would recommend geo leads – Red X, not Mojo. And you might want to use Mojo for the dialer, though. Okay, Richard Bird, what's up? He said, the list of last book is amazing. It will change your vision, and I think we all owe you lunch. Yeah, man. 
Let's see. Suzanne Smith Gidner says, I've been in, in coaching with someone else. Overall, it comes down to making the calls and follow up and following up. What methods do you use to follow up, especially if the seller or buyer are not motivated as fast as you would like them to be? Should I hang on to them for 30 days, six months, etc.? Suzanne, listen, go sign up for my coaching and watch the video of how and why I do the weekly email. The weekly email, I've sent out a weekly email every Wednesday since 2007, 11 years, every single Wednesday, forever, and I'll do it the rest of my life. And This is the foundation of why I'm so successful, the weekly email. The weekly email keeps everybody in tune with you in the market, and when they get ready, they'll call you. Easy enough. You don't have to worry about them. You don't have to think about, oh, do I, do I need to call this person again? Do I need to call them every 30 days? No, you don't call them at all. You let them call you. They'll let you know when they get ready. That's the kind of business I want you guys to build, a business where people are calling you right, to do business, not you trying to force them to do business and actually turning a lot of people away. You know, Most of my deals are from people that I talked to five years ago that I wasn't pushy, and now they're ready, and who are they calling? They're calling me. Red X versus Cole. I don't know much about Cole. I only know Red X. Um, Let's see. Any specific time that you call? I like to call in the mornings between 9 and 12. That's when my mind is the sharpest. Um, and so I'm, I'm on top of my game a little more, uh, you know, between that time. <clears throat> so I think that's the best time to call. I don't really pre-qualify. You know, a lot of people do a lot better after hours and on weekends. They think a lot more people answer. And that may be true. That may be very true. So try it. You know, try try doing different things and see what works best for you. That's all I can say. But I like 9 to 12 because my mind is the sharpest. Steven says, hey, Ricky, you're a single agent, but do you have a showing agent or assistant for paperwork and showings? What does your team consist of? I only have a, an assistant that just handles the paperwork. I do all the showings. I do all the listing appointments. I do all the negotiations. I do all the inspections. I do everything that involves customers. And she does all the paperwork. Albert Watson, Big Al, what's up, buddy? Much love to you, sir. Caesar, no wonder agents have call reluctance when the top coaches are, are out there teaching you how to handle objections left and right. Why not go there in there like a human, form a relationship, answer their questions, and, and service their real estate needs? Love this approach. Exactly, Caesar. There's every coach out there is teaching this high pressure, handle, handle objections get them to sign and all this stuff, no, right? No, that's not how you develop relationships for life. You want everyone you come in contact with to feel comfortable and like you forever, and they're always going to use you. They're always going to be loyal because there's not too many people like that out there. Everybody wants the deal. Everybody wants the contract. Everybody wants the listing. Everybody wants the purchase agreement, right? But if you approach it as, listen, I don't care if you buy or sell. I just want to be here for you if you do. Let me know what I can do to help. You've got a client for life if that's your true attitude, that's your true mindset, they can see in your eyes and they know that you're real, then that's it. You're going to be super, super successful if you if you reach a lot of people with that mindset, right? If you communicate how you really are, that you're a great person, if you communicate that with enough people, that's the problem. People aren't contacting enough people. Let's see. Jamie says, even if you lead generate differently than – than you do, all the other aspects you teach are powerful enough that any agent could benefit from receiving your coaching, through your lead gen, though your lead generation is the best way. You know, I'm not here to say what's best, who's right, who's wrong. I'm not arguing. I think everything works. I just think that the bottom line is work hard, try everything, figure out what works and what doesn't work, and go crush it. I just want to be a role model for you. I want to lead by example. I want you guys to say, Ricky makes a million a year. I know it's possible. That's what I want, and I just want you guys to succeed from the bottom of my heart, deep down. Natasha made 100 calls a day and had lots of rude people, but then I remember what Ricky said yesterday about filtering out people you never want as your clients. Yeah, business is all about filtering down people. There's a big sea of property owners in your market. It's your job to talk to every single one of them that you can and figure out who likes you and who doesn't like you work with the people who like you and you filter that list down and you get down to this list of people who really like you and want to work with you. And if you work on the number one skill for realtors should be making people feel comfortable with you. 
That should be the number one skill. as people skills to make people feel comfortable with you. Um, so I think that's the number one skill. And I think that um, your job is to filter down the people that want to work with you. Right. And, and, and the more the better you are making people feel comfortable and liking you, the bigger that list is going to be. You're not going to filter a lot of people out, but you're all, there's always going to be somebody who's rude, having a bad day, hangs up on you. Who cares? Keep moving. You're a good person. You have a lot to offer. You're worth a lot. Right. Be confident. Maintain yourself. Right. And be true to yourself and be real. And, and don't worry about the rest. Don't let don't, it doesn't all have to be so perfect. Matt Baker says, Ricky, do you use the email strategy to nurture your database or do you simply feel circle prospecting in the long run is more effective for producing new business than calling your database? Well, see, now I don't circle prospect, but when I, when I was, because I have my business is so big, I don't have to make calls anymore. But when I was making calls, um, oh, I see a question on Instagram. Hold on one second. Uh, when I was making calls, I would do I would I would maybe circle prospect 90% of the time and then call my past clients 10% of the time. Okay, I'm more interested in new people because I'm trying to build my business, build my database. I don't want to get stagnant and talk to the same people. I don't want to get stuck calling those same people over and over again. I want to be calling new people. So just be careful there. Nick signed up. Brian says, "Boom! Thank you so much." There's a lot of comments here, guys. So thank you guys so much for uh, all the love and support. Um, I just absolutely want you guys to, to succeed at the highest levels. You know, I want, I really want somebody. I, I, one reason why I'm doing this too is to, is to show you guys how hard I actually work every day, day in and day out. <clears throat> you know, on top of trying to coach, I'm trying to sell real estate. I'm trying to live a life. I try to kite surf. By the way, the, um, I just uploaded the latest um, episode of the Daily Grind. It's all kite surfing. The whole episode is kite surfing. It's really, it's really good episode. Okay, question on Instagram: Do you use postcards? Just listed, just sold. How much do you spend on mailers per month? I send about three thousand postcards a month. And yes, I do. Just listed, just sold. I have a farm area, so on and so forth. Let's see. Yuri says, your weekly newsletter, do you create it every week? Yes, I create my weekly newsletter every week. I sit down for an hour every Wednesday or Tuesday. If I know I'm going to be busy Wednesday, I do it Tuesday, so I make sure it goes out Wednesday. But I design it myself every week. It's not automated. I do it every week. I want it to be personalized. I want it to be perfect. I want everything to be what I think should be there. And uh, that's my baby. My email is my baby, and I don't want anybody to touch it. That's mine. And, and that's what that's that email is what has kept me on top. Okay. Let's see. Do you okay? Jamie says you call past clients in December. Yes, I call every yeah, as soon as soon as the market slows down in the winter, I'll start calling past clients immediately. You know, because when his market slows down, I don't have nothing to do. I'm gonna call past clients, reconnect, then I'm gonna start calling new clients. Let's see. Caesar says, as Grant Cardone says, you don't have to have a fear of re rejection problem. You have a broken pipeline problem. <clears throat> Love what you just said about always add new people to the pipeline. Absolutely, man. Justin says, your scripts are amazing. I love the for sale by owner one. Instead of saying, why don't you listen to me? You ask it, it, to see their home. That way you get face to face with them and don't, uh, and don't, don't use any pressure while giving them all your information. Uh, Joshua Brown says, what's your best organization tip? Um, like what helps you the most staying on top of your business CRM notebook? I use a notebook. This is, this is my like CRM slash, um, uh, best way to stay organized is I, I make a new sheet every day. What's most important, what I need to do today, what my appointments are, what I'm negotiating, you know, and I have a schedule book. Show you guys my little schedule book. Like, here's my schedule book. You know, it's a yearly book. It's got one week per page. This is a whole week. And so I make all my notes there. And then I just start crushing whatever I think is most important. 
I'm so happy that I don't have to hold back anymore uh, about what I say publicly, hoping that you pay me in the end. Um, I can tell you guys anything that I want um, because now, now it's on you guys. You guys have no excuses now. I'm giving it all away. If you don't go succeed, it's on you. It's not because I was charging you too much and you didn't want to pay. It's because you didn't do it. <clears throat> okay, Susanna says, I respect you and what you're giving us. Refreshing. I moved from Mobile to your area. Work at Bellator. I respect your dedication and your work ethic. Awesome. Awesome, Susanna. Hey, let's have some lunch. Come see me. Come shadow me. Come hang out. Come talk. Um, Susanna, Suzanne is in my market, she just said. And so I'm absolutely not scared at all to, to talk or collaborate with agents in my market because business is unlimited. It's all predicated on how much you can handle. And when the market crashes, half the agents are going to leave anyway. So people just aren't workers. Like by nature, most people are just don't work as hard. Um, but I feel like I outwork every single agent. I don't feel like there's anybody out there that works harder than me. And so I feel very confident about that. I'm just, I'm just confident that I can tell everybody and give everybody the exact blueprint of what I do and they can go actually crush it in my market and still not affect me. I could have 10 agents doing what I do in my market and still not affect me. Will they pick up a couple clients of mine? Sure. Do I care? No, because I'm going to go get five more. If my under contract list gets down to a certain level, like I keep 10 to 20 properties under contract at all times. If it gets down to a certain level, let's say two or three, okay, I'm on the phone. I'm going to be on the phone. I'm going to be crushing the phone. I'm going to be putting deals together. You better believe that. If everything went to hell and I had nothing going on, I could pick up the phone and start doing deals left and right. I'm not worried about it. Okay, guys, um, that's about it. I just wanted to have this introductory um, coaching session with you guys to just tell you why I'm doing it for free. Um, and we're going to do these every once in a while, a coaching session like this, maybe once a month, I think. We might do like a coaching session like this. But you guys, be sure to collaborate in the group. Post your call results every day so everybody sees and everybody's holding each other accountable. This group is a lot about accountability and motivation and just pushing each other to the next level. Um, but I wanted to do this just to introduce to you guys that this is real. You can have it all. I want you to succeed more than, probably more than a lot of you want to succeed. I want you to succeed even worse than you do for a lot of you. And um, I just love you guys sincerely. And I will do anything in the world to help you. Um, so. I guess that's a wrap unless anybody has any more questions. What's up, Ronnie? Um, Suzanne says that I've helped her a lot through the tran transition. Cool. So, again, guys, if you're just tuning in, zero to diamond.com if you want all my phone scripts, videos of me making calls, you know, weekly report, past coaching calls. There's an online course. There's an online course. Okay, I got a question on Instagram about how can we land developer clients. Same way, same way you land residential clients. You call them up and you ask them, how's their day? Is there anything you can do for them? We see that you are doing such and such development. You know, is there anything I can do to help you there? Do you have another agent that you're working with? You know, how can I apply for the job or whatever, right? You just have to talk to them, right, and develop that relationship and don't be pushy. Don't go after the deal. Period. It's not about the deal. All right. Cool, guys. So I'm going to crush it. I want you guys to crush it. Have a really good weekend. And um, just reach out if there's anything I can do for you at all. Enjoy the content on the website. And uh, watch some videos this weekend and try to learn something new. And, and just get into the zero to diamond mindset. You know, that long term for short term gain. Hard work, grinding, patience, just really get engulfed with it and really take it all in and tell yourself you're going to take your business to the next level. 
All right. Talk to you guys soon. I'll be posting in the group this weekend. So, and uh, by the way, guys, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you would. Subscribe there and like every video, comment. Also, Instagram. Um, turn the post notifications on Instagram and like and comment. Hashtag 321 Club. And, and I'm giving away books and free one. Uh, for 321 Club winners for posting 321 Club in my hat in my Instagram post. So anything I can do for you guys, please let me know. Much, 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 much love. I hope you guys feel it. I hope you guys understand why I'm doing what I'm doing. And uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you. Thank you.